computer. Good morning, Glenn. Good, great to talk to you. So um, I had a couple of questions and I'll just catch up with you. So how's the world for you following COVID or affected by COVID? Well, well, thanks for having me, uh, Neil. And it's been how many years now? I think it's Ooh. been like eight or something. Eight so, years, uh, I think. Yeah, so it's been a while since we've seen each other, but it looks like this is our new normal uh, using uh, using virtual applications like Zoom like this. So for us, really, uh, we're not quite post-COVID yet, I would say. We're getting this fourth wave. Um, but um, we we actually actually continue to do quite a bit of field work during COVID. So we were very selective in the time of travel we were doing. But most of the field work we were doing, we still kept doing because it's fairly low risk to be out in the field and you know studying a new a new road design or, or whatnot. Uh, although traveling was a challenge, but uh, we kept up uh, with our projects. Um, you know, in Canada, most of the mills actually ran quite well throughout COVID, especially the lumber prices skyrocketed uh, over, you know, after the first two months of COVID. So it, it, it went way down and then shoot it up to historical levels. So our mills were running full capacity. Um, so it didn't have an impact or huge impact on our revenue. So we were able to keep doing research. Um, uh, to a point where we did actually shift some of our activities to this fiscal year because last year was a bit of like a lot of mills were slowed down for a bit some of the labs were closed so we did we had a we had a tough year but financially we're uh, you know we're stable now we're out of it um and in terms of our working environment i mean i think what like most of the world we've proven that virtual will will work and we're probably going to be moving to a hybrid system where uh, I would say two to three days at home and the other two or three days at the office would be uh, it's going to be our new normal moving forward. Yep. When you're in New Zealand, you showed us a lot about sort of forestry research and that is still that sort of that same sort of work continuing or, you know, what sort of work are they inv involved in there? Uh, well, maybe maybe I'll touch on a few hmm. interesting new projects that we have on the go and you, you might have seen some of it. Uh, I think LinkedIn is probably one a, a, a good platform now that we're using quite a bit as an organization to make some announcements of some of the work we're doing. Uh, a few projects I want to touch on, truck platooning. Um, so we are, we have done preliminary tests of platooning. So two trucks and a platoon uh, arrangement. Uh, our objective is to have one driver in the lead truck and no driver in the following truck or trucks. Um, so this is connected an autonomous vehicle. We're looking at level four autonomy, autonomy for the, the following trucks. We've entered an agreement with a company in the US uh, called Robotic Research. Uh, they provide uh, autonomous systems for the military. Uh, we're working with them closely right now in, towards an initiative where we want to launch a pilot project for platooning uh, from basically from stump to mill. And so very exciting project. You can, you can Google some of the, the stuff we have on that uh, uh, on various platforms. Um, another one, uh, there's a big push for electrification right now, I, I guess across the world, you know, reducing GHGs and, and use of fossil fuels. We have a really exciting project on, a, on what we're calling a hybrid truck. So it's basically a log truck, uh, which we're equipping the trailer with one electric axle. So we're going to drop one of the, the standard axles on the Tridem and we're replacing that with an electric axle. The, the batteries uh, and the, uh, also the cooling and heating system for the batteries will be mounted on the trailer. So the trailer itself will be, uh, you'll be able to, to basically use it on multiple types of tractors. Um, so that we're coming up with two prototypes this year. One's gonna be on a chip van and, in Western Canada and the other one's gonna be on a log truck, a four axle log truck uh, with electrification. That's, that's quite a, interesting. And it's not just for GHC reduction, but also for traction. And, you know, I know in New Zealand, you've got lots of steep grades. Uh, we believe that the added traction from that, that electric axle will get us into difficult conditions that we typically struggle with uh, in Western Canada. And I think it would be an interesting application for New Zealand, given the hills that you have uh, oh, very much to go so. through. Mm. Yeah. So you're in a more senior role sort of now, but, you know, like, um... Do you think there's anything else their attendees might like to know what's sort of going on or is that pretty well covered it? Um, I think on the road side, I mean, I have a more global picture of what's going on on all the different areas of work now in my new position, but um, we're doing a lot more around digitalization. So tapping into data that's available, not just in trucks, but in harvesting equipment. Uh, so that's that's a big focus for us. Um, 
We've uh, recently launched an initiative on using lignin uh, in asphalt. So lignin as a byproduct, uh, as a renewable resource, and in lignin is kind of like glue, right? So we're, yes. we're, we're currently testing it in the lab right now in different mixes of asphalt. And eventually we'll be, we'll be doing that in the field as well, probably using it on a parking lot or something of a low traffic uh, type of pavement. Uh, but that may be an interesting uh, avenue uh, for you in, in New Zealand as well, the use of lignin. And another project on roads, I'm not sure if you have issues with wet access or wet terrain, uh, but if you do, we have been working on a number of projects on how to better, how to build a forest access road on a super soft soil. Um, so whether it's using a geotextile, uh, whether it's using uh, insulation type systems for a spring breakup. So we're, we're, we have a quite a bit of work uh, in that area as well. Thank you very much. It's, it's just great to get other perspectives on what people are doing and hopefully engender some enthusiasm with our team. So thank you for your time. No problem. It was my